So the latest patch for Borderlands 3 nerfed legendary drops within the mayhem modes, meaning we can't spend hours farming 5 or 6 legendaries per minute anymore. That is a true shame. Well actually people, it isn't. I have found a new way of getting 5 or 6 legendaries a minute easy. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. I'm also giving away copies of Borderlands 3, so to win one for yourself or a friend, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have notifications turned on. Drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so Gearbox dropped a patch which affected loot drops on Mayhem, basically stating legendary loot was too easy to get, which to be honest it is. While people with this method today, it's still going to be super easy to get. Okay, so there's been a farm posted all over the world wide web over the past few days. Even myself, I posted about a certain loot tink located within Eden 6 within the Jacobs Estate area. Before the latest patch, this loot tink you could farm hundreds of legendaries an hour, even more in fact. But after the recent patch, he kind of become void. Well people, let's boost him back to health. This method allows this loot tink to drop legendaries like he did free patch and it's pretty damn easy to do. First of all what you want to do is go to Eden 6, Jacob's estate and load in right here. Once you are in, follow the path I take on screen now. So when you get to this save point and it's synced, quit your game, yes, quit your game, force stop it, whatever, make sure your game isn't running. Then all you have to do is go offline. On Xbox and PS4, simply disconnect the internet from your console. You can do this in settings by selecting go offline on Xbox and of something similar on PS4. PC people, I'm pretty sure you guys will know how this is done. So once you are offline, load back into Borderlands. Now as I play on Xbox, I know of all the error codes you can get when trying to play offline. Forget those codes, just keep trying to start up that game and eventually it will start. So load it up and you should spawn at the exact place you left out. If not, travel back to Jacob's estate and make your way back here. The loot tink will be waiting and his loot will be legendary. Now doing this on Mayhem 3 for sure, you do get that legendary loot, but there is no difference I could see with loot drops from Mayhem 3 or Mayhem 2. So he may as well play it on Mayhem 2 just to get it down more efficient and it is a lot easier. And it is as simple as that people. Now obviously this is for people who have completed the campaign so you can actually start up mayhem modes. If you haven't completed the campaign then you won't be able to do this. Now the loot tink respawns after quitting out and loading back in so farm away while you can people and get that loot. But on that note I am out. I'll leave you now to watch me farm this efficiently and gain a load of legendaries, absolutely unbelievable. But I don't know, I am out guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.
away. Oh, will 